Good morning, internet and stuff. Uh, Mitch from the Brew Lab Cafe once again. Now, today is Sunday. It might not be, you'll never know. Um, not being at the cafe, I still need coffee. Now, previously, you may have seen me doing some pour over coffees other little bits and pieces. That has changed since we've received a La Pavoni Professional PL Espresso Machine. Lever machine. Damn cool. Old school. I love it. Um, I'm really impressed with this guy so far. Um, and today I'm gonna show you how to get the best out of this machine. To my preference, everyone's different, but I'm gonna show you how I do it and how to make Pretty damn good coffee out of a very small machine and quite cheap considering the size and what it does. So I'm gonna go through the full process. That includes grinding the coffee. So if you're wearing headphones, I apologize in advance. It's probably gonna be a bit loud. Um, let's get into it now. And along the way, I'm gonna explain exactly how everything works and what to do bits and pieces. Okay, so we've got Brewista Scales zeroed off with, it's actually the base of the Rhino Wears um, hand grinder. Perfect size for the smaller porta filter of the La Pavoni. So that's 10, zeroed, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to grind, so headphones, sorry. Now, we are aiming for 17 grams. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'm just spooning out what I don't want into my knockbox. You don't have a knockbox, use a bin, something, whatever. A um, couple of things that I would recommend having is rather than just using the drip tray that it comes with, just have a little cup, whatever, on the side. I always just purge the system a little bit, help it out, keep it cleaner. And always have a cloth or two on the side, okay? Cut back under again, just to get any of the excess Coffee from the last coffee out. Okay, so fancy dancy dosing cup in. Um, let's talk about this. That is the tamp that comes with the La Pavoni. There's not much to say about it because it's kind of rubbish. That's going to be something I will upgrade. It's potentially something I'm gonna look at stocking at the cafe for anyone that needs a smaller tamp because it's not your standard 58 mil. Um, that's a 51 mil tamp. Anyway, you can use it, it works. I've made plenty of copies with it. I'm gonna show you that you can use it. I just, whatever, it's not great. Now, being a plastic tamp or whatever material it is, I find you have to get kind of aggressive with your tamping and you have to use the palm. You just can't get a good grip on it any other way. Now, pop that bad boy in and twist. Yes, opposite direction to your usual or whatever. It's right out of the way. It makes sense when you use it. Cup underneath. Yeah, I know my cup doesn't fit. Shush. I'm going to take five seconds to pre infuse. You'll hear it. Maximum 10 seconds for it to infuse. And then we're going to start coming down in a minute. No, not a minute, a couple of seconds. Or if you see the coffee starting to drip. Okay. Nice and equal, even pressure all the way to the bottom. Nice and smooth. Now, depending on how fine you've ground the coffee, this will sort of vary how hard this is. It will change the flavour massively. 
right, all the way to the bottom. I always hold it for a couple of seconds and then release it. If you timed that at home, let me know what it was. I wasn't counting because I was talking. Doing my barista thing. That is a serious amount of crema from a very little machine with 17 grams in. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, now there's a couple of reasons why. Being a lever machine, you control how much pressure you put through it. So if you don't know how to make coffee, you will learn. It's amazing. Um, it's a really, really clever way to teach someone how to make a good coffee or pull a good shot at least. Because that is damn impressive. Um, it also helps that we're using a good quality um, A-grade bean from Quattro. This is actually the Columbia uh, single origin. We cannot keep it on the shelf. It flies off the shelf. Whether we're using it in the cafe for espressos, long lax, um, even milk coffees, it's actually pretty impressive. Um, I'll get about to that in a second. Um, or just selling bags of coffee ground to whole bean. It's, it's an amazing bean, bean Colombian. It's always going to be if it's from a good farm. And the Quattro have done an amazing job with this one. It's very, very, very good. Um, so like I was saying, I will get to the milk in a second, but this is exactly how I drink coffee. Um, sometimes I'll drink a long black. Generally, this is exactly how I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, full of body, full of flavor. That's, that's a lot on the bean, but with a basic machine, a cheap machine, an inferior machine, you're not gonna get the flavor you want or desire or that that quality bean deserves. Now, this is fantastic coffee. It tastes great, the texture's there. Um, as you saw, the crema's there. It's very, very impressive. Now, if you drink milk in your coffee, still perfect machine for you. You can run milk through this guy and pull amazing latte art milk out of it. I've done it with lactose free, full cream, um, almond skim. I've, I've tried them and it's fantastic. I'm amazed at something so small being able to pull milk that well. Um, it will run steam up to 10 minutes, I believe, which if you're taking 10 minutes to steam your milk, that's hot. Um, you only need about 30 seconds. So this is a powerful little thing. I have no idea how they've done that, but it works. It works really well. All you do is use this little guy here at the back of the machine. Like a normal steam one. Steam the milk just like you normally would. Um, it does have a little guide as well. So that does two things. You won't scratch the machine. It also makes you place the milk jug in the correct position to steam the milk. Um, again, really good way to teach someone how to steam milk for latte art um, because it just sits the jug in the perfect position every time. Um, it's really clever. So if you're a beginner, perfect. It's actually amazing. If you are experienced in making coffee, amazing. I've made millions of lattes. I've made millions of short blacks. This thing does it amazingly for something so small and relatively well priced considering what it does. You know, it's not a big automatic silly thing that gives you no control. You control everything on this machine and I think that that's a beautiful thing. That's a that's what I want in coffee. Um, you may see in the cafe, we don't use any puff press. We don't use any automated milk machines. We do the work because we are baristas. Um, and we love that part of it. We love the art, okay? This is the art side of coffee in a tiny little machine. Um, seriously impressive. Um, I may be in the future rigging it up in the four wheel drive so I can make coffee top of a bloody mountain somewhere. 
and it will do it with a very basic power inverter because it's not this giant you know 15 20 30 40 amp machine that you know you need to pull a good coffee normally it just does it on a standard powerpoint plug uh, really impressed um, look it takes 10 minutes sorry five minutes to warm up from when you turn it on before you turn it on fill the thing with filtered water not tap water it has to be filtered water for multiple reasons quality coffee consistent tasting coffee and don't destroy the machine basic shitty water will destroy a good machine um, if anyone tells you otherwise don't buy coffee from that person. You need good quality water with, with you know, the perfect hardness. I'm not going to go into that now. Um, fill it whether you use bottled water. Um, you use filtered water if you have a system at home. Even if you just get a filtering jug from Woolies, um, from Alternative Brewing, there's plenty of options for, you know, a water filter jug. Pour it in turn it on um, do not try to fill it once you've turned it on it will make a mess um, and do not turn it on without water being in it um, it's potentially going to damage things um, and warranty doesn't cover stupidity so fill it with filtered water flick it on five minutes later you are ready to make coffee I always wait until the group head is hot itself. That is too hot for me to hold. It's good to go. You know, if that guy's around 90 degrees, we are on point. Um, that's exactly where you want it, around that. You know, I'm going to add, actually, a thermal sticker to the group head, which is what a lot of people seem to be doing on this machine. Um, it might be something that La Pavoni looks at doing in the future, is having, whether it's, you know, a display of some sort which is probably just something else to go wrong or just a thermal sticker so you know how hot it is um, I may even place a couple on it you know one on the front one on the main boiler just so I know where the temperature is sitting everywhere um, just probably more for science more than anything because you can't change it so what are you gonna do um, then once you've done exactly what I've shown you pulled your shot don't pull the porter filter out straight away. I learned this the hard way um, and it made a damn mess. So you want to wait, you know, probably just a minute. It doesn't have to be however long this video has been of me rambling. Then pull the bad boy out. Otherwise, it has this weird coffee sneeze thing where you pull it out and the back pressure actually pushes the puck out of the basket and holy shit, it makes a mess. Watch your ears, guys. Um, so don't do that, because you'll be cleaning up that mess for a long time. Give it a wipe. I clean everything all the time. I'm only pulling one shot at a time normally. There's no reason not to clean things. Um, you know, if you're leaving that dirty inside, your next coffee is going to taste dirty. It's pretty simple. Pop it back in, keep the heat into the porter filter. If everything is the same temperature, everything is going to be consistent. Um, highly recommend keeping everything hot, or at the same temperature at least. Purely for consistency. Um, but look, long story short, even though this is probably not a short story, this thing's insane. I'm so impressed. Um, you know, something this little pulling a shot that good, doing milk that good. <sighs> Unless you wanted the lazy way of making coffee, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having an automatic machine. Um, I just love the art side, like I've said. If you enjoy that side of things, this is the machine um, that I'm aware of. If you know of anything better, let me know. Um, throw some comments. Let me know your feedback. If you have any questions about the machine, about the process, about you know, grind size, bits and pieces. Um, send me a message or leave a comment. I'm more than happy to, you know, chat with you guys. Um, this isn't a sales pitch on this machine. Yes, we can sell them to you. Um, but 
you know, we don't, we don't try to make money on these guys. We just want everyone to enjoy the coffee experience. Um, that's my goal. Um, and if, you know, we can be a part of that, cool. Um, so look, I would um, highly recommend it. And like I said, any questions guys, give us a yell. I've probably left a thousand things out that were in my head yesterday and now I've forgotten. So reach out and um, have a chat about them. Till next time, thank you. Have a good day and see you next time.